Okay. Oh, thanks, Jill. So a lot of lawns are wet this morning. Yes. But the yeah. sun's going to dry them up, but hopefully. But the sun will dry it up, and then we're actually looking at a lot of dry weather this week ahead. So, Got it. Uh, but yeah, today's a good day to mow the lawn, for sure. Okay, good. And it's... to have breakfast. Oh, yeah, to have breakfast, too. Thank you for the reminder. I have this right here. <laughs> Taftville Fire Department breakfast. They're having it uh, on 134 Providence Street from 730 this morning to 11 a.m. Adults are $10. Kids are $7. Under 5 is free, and they're going to benefit the Sacred Heart School Boiler Fund. So so Got it. Sounds like a great cause. It does. And, of and course, I love breakfast. Oh, Whenever they're doing pancakes or omelets. I don't you know. Gotta go and find French out. toast? Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I right. love me some French toast or some pancakes. Hey, mm. all of the above. I know. All right, I'm getting hungry now, Wendell. Okay, let's get to the forecast. <laughs> Early warning weather satellite radar showing from yesterday. Wendell mentioned it. We had that rain. It was really coming down at times. We actually picked up anywhere from one to two inches across the state locally. Uh, in some areas of New Haven County, we actually got more than two inches and yeah you can see maybe just a trail of very light showers following it for the most part though we are dry if you're heading out right now you might see maybe spotty drizzle maybe isolated spotty drizzle that's pretty much it uh, so if you're heading out, it's foggy in some areas. It was foggy in some areas of our state. Now that has gone away. We are seeing some clouds along the shoreline. The sun is going to return for the afternoon for sure, though. We will see bright sunshine, and it's going to be nice and tranquil for the week ahead. Plus, the temperatures bump back up pretty much to normal for this time of the year. And, of course, a lot of Swifties are heading to the Taylor Swift Eras Tour at Gillette Stadium today, uh, and it's going to be a nice day for that. 74 degrees. We're going to see some partial sunshine as as well so not bad at all allergy forecast you can see for today tomorrow Tuesday though that is back up because the rain does lower the pollen we had that yesterday uh, but it's once again back up with all this dry weather so specifically the culprit birch maple and cedar and juniper trees but once again visibility has improved greatly we were seeing some patchy fog in some areas of our state we are seeing some sunshine like Windsor Locks looks like the northern spots of our state seeing that Sun and Torrington as well and and southern along the coastline, that's where we're seeing more cloud cover. Temperatures are in the 50s and the 60s across our state. The dew points are down. We were actually in the 60s earlier, so that was kind of muggy, sticky air, but everything is getting a little bit better with a northwesterly flow ushering in some cooler air. So a little bit of a breeze right now, anywhere from 3 to 15 miles per hour for your day ahead. You can see that sunshine, uh, but once again, some cloud cover too, so it will be a mix, and then by this afternoon this evening we will see more sun same thing along the shoreline we will get back into the 70s so that will feel pretty nice here's a look at our future cast yep you can see those clouds this morning once again again pushing away to that bright sunshine and uh, yeah into tomorrow too high pressure will be in control so we will see another nice day to get out and about whether doing some yard work maybe some gardening or just taking a nice long walk or run outside it's going to be perfect for that for tomorrow future cast shows us too for Tuesday no issues now into Wednesday there is a chance to see maybe a couple showers with this system. Now this uh, specific model, the GFS, is showing that possibility, but other models are not. So we're still right now keeping it optimistically dry, saying maybe some cloud cover, maybe the chance for some very late evening showers. Temperatures on Wednesday will spike into the upper 70s. That will be our warmest day of the week. Then after that, front passes through, cooler air filters in, breezy conditions for Thursday, temperatures in the upper 60s. And then Friday, a lot of people traveling, right? That's getaway day for Memorial Day weekend looking good and Saturday a question mark right now it is possible to see some rain so we're just going to keep a very close eye on that for you for the upcoming weekend.